Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good afternoon, this is Dr. Pradhan here. So, welcome to NPTEL project on econometric modeling. So, today we will start the introduction part of econometric modeling. So, we will basically highlight what is all about introduction uh, means econometric modeling and how it is very useful for you know our academic point of view. So, now basically you know we are living in a dy dynamic world where everything is a you know problematics. So, we are always bounded with the various socio-economic problems and uh, it is very dynamic, very uncertain and uh, totally unpredictable. But with the uh, with this these problems, so we need to have a solutions. So, that means we have to apply proper strategy how you have to tackle such type of dynamic problems. So, without uh, without having proper strategy it is very difficult to handle you know various social economic problems. So, econometric modeling is means in this scenario econometric modeling is very important tools to solve this particular problem. So, means it will give you guidelines or it will give you green signal what are the strategic aspects you have to apply through which you can solve this particular problems which is very volatile, very uncertain and it is totally unpredictable in nature. So, econometric modeling will give you uh, fundamental ideas. So, how you have to solve this uh, you know uncertain problem or volatile problem into stable problem or certain problems. So, this is how the beginning of this econometric modeling. So, now uh, what is all about this econometric modeling? The co uh, econometric modeling is divided into two parts. Okay. So, it is divided into two parts one is called as a econometrics and another is a called as a modeling. Okay. So, let me first uh, uh, before I, I highlight the econometrics and modeling. So, what is my core agenda here? The core agenda of econometric modeling is to fit data into a particular problem. So, that is we need to have fit means best fit, best structure of data into that particular problem. So, data is usually represented as a information. So, the way you will process the information so that the problem can be solved immediately or you can say you, you, you can transfer this uncertain problem or volatile problem to certain problem or stable problem so that you can wipe out that uh, socio-economic problems. So, now to have or to fit data or to get a structure of uh, goodness of fit is not straightforward. Okay. It is very, very complex problems. So, now we like to know what are these complexities. So, how to get this pro, uh, means how, uh, how to get this best fitness of the models or you can say best fitness of the data setup so that we can solve the problems. So, we have various strategic uh, issues, various strategic fundamentals so that we can come to a particular conclusions. So, it requires huge skill setups. First things you know you need huge skills, huge mathematical knowledge, huge statistical knowledge and you know uh, relevant uh, uh, softwares because nowadays without softwares to tackle multivariate problem is very difficult because we, we are always uh, having time constraints. Okay. So, uh, in this particular scenario, so you must be very careful. So, how with the limited limited resource base uh, you know with respect to time, methodology, issues, setups, etcetera. So, we have to quickly find out a solution and uh, uh, within that solutions we have to get a best fitness of the particular model and by the way that model can be used for solving your problems or you can say used for forecasting etcetera. So, now I will highlight a few things here. So, in our today with this basic introduction, so today we are going to discuss these are the aspects. So, first of all what is econometrics? So, why we know econometrics? It is a historical background 
and some cited examples, then econometric outputs, inputs, econometric process, then finally, the basic framework of econometric modeling and basic uh, you know uh, some of the basic knowledge about econometrics, because it should be mandatory uh, you know something little bit before you go for econometric modeling. Econometric modeling is a very complex problem and it is a very difficult problem without knowing all such aspects or you can say basics, it is very difficult to uh, enter to this econometric modeling. Okay. So, let me first we start with the econometrics. Okay. So, let me econometrics is a a branch, a, 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 you know, econometrics is a branch, uh, branch of science, uh, 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 where you can say uh, it means in which theory and statistical methods are integrated in the analysis of numerical and institutional data. It is otherwise called as a scientific study of numerical data based on variation uh, in nature. Okay, so that means it is a set of information collection summation. Uh, estimation and interpretation of uh, you can say uh, data. So, this is what uh, uh, finally, one called as a econometrics aspect. Okay. Econometrics is a, a set of information, collection, summation, estimations and interpretation of data. So, in the in the case of modeling, it is a process. Okay. So, it is the integration of physical simulation and mathematical simulations. Okay. So, that means, it is a process of presenting a real world object as a set of mathematical equations. Okay. So, now, so we have to transfer the physical problem into mathematical problems. Okay. So, now, econometrics will uh, apply. So, whether in this transformation, this modeling is perfectly okay or not. So, that is how econometrics play a big role. So, econometrics means uh, uh, you know modeling you will transfer the real world problem into mathematical form of the equation. So, that means it will build a mathematical form of the model and econometrics will uh, you know uh, enter to that particular aspect and investigate whether that problem is perfectly ok for ok or not. So, the way it will be investigated that is the structure of econometrics. Okay. So, econometrics altogether it is you know uh, divided into four aspects. It's the it's the you know integration of four different papers altogether. It's called as a starting with economics, a, a, you know then uh, finance, then mathematics, then statistics. Okay, statistics. So economics is the principle of uh, consumption, distribution, and wealth management. Okay, so it is the branch of social science which is concerned with the principle of consumption. Uh, principle of uh, you can say pro, you know, principle of production, consumption, and distribution, wealth, and their management. So this is what the economics all have, all about. Similarly, in finance, it is the branch of economics that studies the management of money and other assets. So now, so uh, uh, means finance is root from economics. So economics is the bigger concept where we are studying the principle of production, consumption, distribution of wealth and their management. So for finance is a part of it is the branch of economics that studies the management of money uh, and other assets. Okay. So similarly, so we can define the, the term mathematics. It is a branch of science dealing with a logic of quantity, self and its arrangements. Okay. Similarly, statistics we can define branch of science where we can plan, gather, analyze information about a particular collection of individuals or object under consideration. Okay. So, this is how the structure of uh, you know uh, econometrics. So, that means econometrics is the uh, cluster of uh, economics, finance, mathematics and statistics. There are many ways we can integrate all these things because uh, 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 nowadays it has just spread in many areas. But all together, so uh, uh, in fact, it is the uh, means uh, in a uh, uh, brief we can show that it is the integration of economics problem, finance problem, math mathematics use, and statistics use. So, we use mathematics and statistics how to solve the socio economic problems or financial problem that is what the uh, uh, agenda of this econometric modeling. Okay. So, now very uh, quickly, I will highlight here uh, uh, once again what is all about this econometrics. So, then you see here. So, altogether, so econometrics is a branch of these four heads. So, this is the clusters which we call is a econometrics. So, this is a, you can say a economics, then this is finance, then this is math, and this is start. Okay. So, the cluster will call as a econometrics. Okay. So, uh, it, it, that is why I can uh, uh, analyze here. It is a set of procedures and rules for reducing large masses of data into manageable uh, person, proportions along 
uh, allowing us to draw conclusions from those data. Okay, so this is the fact of you know I I have very strictly mentioned in the beginning that econometric modeling is uh, the basic core agenda is I means uh, core objective is to fit the data and that should be very structured, very reliable, very accurate. So the way we will fit the data that is what the speciality of econometrics. So that is what the definition is also talks about. So, in short it is the application of statistical methods to socio-economic data that is nothing but socio-economic problems. So, under uh, it may be purely social problem, it may be purely economic problems and it may be uh, purely financial problem that is coming under all uh, socio-economic issues. So, there are various definitions, many definitions uh, we have uh, to interpret the econometrics. So, it is not possible to analyze all these definition here. So, I am straightforward, I, uh, I, 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 I am giving one definition here. Econometrics may be defined as the social science in which the tool of economic theory, mathematics, statistical inference are applied to the analysis of economic uh, problem. So, this is how the broad definition of this uh, uh, you know uh, econometrics. Okay. Now, come, come to this uh, uh, why economics, why you know econometrics, uh, in fact we have already discussed why, uh, uh, why we know econometrics, because we, we are in the dynamic world where all problems are uh, very uncertain in nature, very problematic, very complex. So, we need proper, uh, proper models where, uh, through which we can apply proper strategy and to tackle that problem. So, economics uh, you know uh, come forward to solve all these uh, issues. So, that means it will give you the best fit models through which you can apply proper strategy and you can solve your particular problems. Okay. So, econometric is used to test and refine the existing theory. Okay. So, that means uh, I have very briefly mentioned that to which uh, so far as econometric modeling is concerned it is a application oriented uh, subjects. So, you must have a proper theory and with it, uh, within the particular theory you have to bring objective specification, hypothesis specification, model formulation, then our idea is your um, econometric idea is uh, whether this particular model uh, physical to transformation to mathematical transformation is perfectly lucky or not. So, how it is consistent with the theory that is how the econometrics play fantastic role or key roles. Okay. It is very useful as the existing theory may be may be very confu confusing in nature because of various factors like policy change, some of the uh, unnecessary I mean say not uh, countable factors like earthquake, terrorist attack etcetera. Okay. Econometrics can evaluate the program which is useful for various stakeholders in that society because once you set the problem, suppose I have a problem, so I need to fit a model so through which I can make a prediction and I can you can say solve my problem. But ultimately, that model can be used by other people, other uh, other stakeholders, so that uh, it will be multi multiple use. Okay, so econometrics is not a, uh, you know one. Uh, it is not one man's utility. It is a multi multi man's utility. So it's a very. That's why it's uh, its importance is much much higher uh, than the other subjects. Okay, so um, econometrics analysis is very valuable to decision makers. So, uh, so actually, uh, uh, since it is a, it is the question of fitting the data into a proper structures. So, so far as the data is concerned, there are many ways we have to classify the data structure. Sometimes it is called as a one way, uh, which I, I I like to highlight here: uh, experimental data and non-experimental data. Here, experimental data are very rare in various socio-economic problems. So that's why econometrics is very handy to handle non-experimental data and observational data to make the inferences. Okay. So, that is very important fact in the case of econometrics modeling. It is applicable to uh, apply any theory provided the real world data must be very supportive. Okay. One of the uh, interesting because the starting point of econometrics which I have mentioned the core agenda is that fitting data into a proper structures. So, if data is not there then econ econometric is a uh, handicap. Econometrician will be very handy, very helpful if you have a theory, consistent theory and you have a consistent information. So, then they will use this information uh, uh, in the theories and they can predict you or they can give you better strategy how you to go in future. Okay. So, if something is missing then obviously, econometrics is meaningless. So, econometrics in requires before entering of econometrics require proper theory and proper information. Without, if anything is missing in the process, then econometric is meaningless. 
So, we need consistent theory, we need consistent informations. So, econometric will, uh, you will give basic two inputs, one is how strategic skill power you have, how you have to handle and what are the techniques available and how you are integrating the system to, to get a particular answers. Okay. So, so the use of econometric, there are so many use uh, in fact, so other uses are you know it is useful in financial market, capital markets, you know product market, factor market, wherever there is a problem. So, you apply this model, then you know you get to know uh, how you have to fit the data and that will give you uh, idea or strategy how, how you have to apply strategy for your future direction. That is how the you can say structure of econometric modeling. So, modeling long term relationship between price exchange rates, then more, uh, determinants of bond credit ratings, then forecasting volatility of bond returns or you can say capital asset pricing models, these are the most of the applications where you, you means I am just giving you some kind of examples here, but in, in reality the, it may be useful for many cases, most of the cases you know 99 percent cases whatever problems you have you can apply the econometrics. So, that is why it is a very handy subject and very interesting subjects. Okay. Uh, similarly, these are all other uh, options so how you have to means uh, I am talking about you can apply in the stock market etcetera. So, anyway, so now, uh, so you get to know what is all about econometrics and why you know econometrics then finally, we will just get to know what is its background, how it is coming into these pictures. Okay. So, historically uh, econometrics you know uh, started with the foundation of econometric society in 1931 and calls commissions uh, research in 1932. So, you know so from 1931 onwards uh, econometrics play major roles. In fact, in the mid of 1960, the rule of econometrics is very, very uh, you know at the higher rate and right, right now in this particular era, globalization era, the use of econometric modeling is you know at a greater uh, you know at the highest levels without using econometric modeling, it is very, very difficult to go for any forecasting or any policy matters. Okay. So, econometrics is very uh, useful, so that is why you need to have information about econometric knowledge, without econometric knowledge or without econometric modeling. So, it is very difficult to go for any policy uh, uh, policy discussion or policy use, okay. it is very difficult. Yes, so uh, by uh, by the way you can get to know here, so what is the uh, utility and usefulness of econometrics. So, it is started in the year 1931, but purely to solve socio-economic problems that too you know mostly on economic related problem and financial related problem. So, this is what we call it in the social science, but uh, it has a many application in other areas like uh, in the physical science also. So, like you know biometrics, technometrics, sociometrics, anthropometrics, cliometrics, uh, geometrics, these are the applications where now econometrics is uh, applied. You see econometrics is a supporting subject, you just bring some th pro, uh, theory so, any 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 branch of science you see chemical engineering, civil engineering or mechanical engineering you bring theory. Okay. So, then econometric is just like a tool. Okay. So, it will see how theory is there. So, what type of information you need then we have to either you have to test some theory or we have to redesign the theory, re-estimate the theory. So, that we can bring something new okay. or we can use in a more strategic way, more better way for policy matter or you can say future predictions. Okay. So, this is how the econometric all about. So, you know there are certain uh, uh, you know uh, uh, I, I will cite, uh, cite here few examples what is all about e e econometrics uh, structure altogether. So, okay. so, now be, be careful here. So, I will put a model here c equal to a plus b y. Okay. So, this is what we have brought from the theory of Keynesian consumption functions. Okay, Keynesian consumption function. So, C stands for consumptions and Y stands for income and A, B are parameters which are supporting. So, that means the theory says that uh, C is a function of Y. So, this is how the theory that means. Uh, so, how you have to justify whether there is a uh, this theory has a fact or meaningful interpretation or not. So, statistic has to play. So, there are th uh, suppose I start with the concept like a uh, uh, consumption as a function of income. So, that means, a uh, consumption if you dependent variable. So, it depends upon y income levels. So, your consumption level will depends upon your income levels. Okay. 
So, now whether this uh, relationship is very positive or it is significant, so that econometrics will help you in later. So, uh, I have put the mathematical equation c equal to a plus b y, c equal uh, sorry c equal to a plus b y. Okay. So, let, uh, let us uh, uh, means what is all econometric modeling? So, now uh, this is mathematical form of the model. So, I will uh, in, in implicit format, I will put it in, in explicit format here c equal to a plus b y. So, this is called as a mathematical form of the models. Okay. So, now what I will do? So, I will transfer this model into statistical form of the model. So, so at the moment I will transfer into statistical form of the model. So, the model will be rewritten uh, like a plus b y plus u. Okay. So, that means uh, uh, initially there are two, uh, two parts, this is part 1, this is part 2. So, this is dependent cluster, this is independent cluster, that two this is a supporting component and this is the main component. Okay. So, now, uh, uh, now once you will transfer into statistical form of the model, statistical model, then it has a three parts. Okay. So, this, this is dependent cluster, this is independent cluster and this is error cluster. Okay. So, we will get to know details when we will uh, move into a direct econometric problem. So, after couple of lectures means basic of all econometrics knowledge, then we will move to that pure econometric model. So, how we will start and how we have to end with the particular uh, issues. So, now in this particular setup, so you have consumption equations. So, C G here is uh, consumptions, then uh, uh, it is function of income. So, here is A and B are the supporting components. So, now what is the main agenda of econometrics is that, so every time, so that is how it is equal as a a uh, one type of exploration. Okay. So, what you have to do here? So, every times that means here u is in a hidden nature. Okay. It is in a hidden. So, that means some of the missing components are there. So, is it possible to find out what are the hidden components are there? So, this is one uh, means this is uh, give you a signal uh, for search. Okay. It will give you a, uh, a, a search. If not, then first of all you have to find out what is the error term. So, what is the contribution of error? Is it 0 or is it something greater than 0? Okay. So, there are two aspects uh, uh, in fact. So, uh, 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 what is the error contribution? So, the model will be best fitted if you know consider uh, you can consider as the best models if the error will be at the minimum level. So, if you will say 0 then obviously, it will be perfectly fit models. So, now in most of the cases because it is a simple model, so uh, because consumption is a function of income only, but consumption depends upon so many other factors in fact. Similarly, any any problems you take a let us say price and quantity relationship. So, price quantity dependent function of price. So, it does not mean that quantity always depends upon price, there are certain other factors are there. This is, uh, just like uh, you know uh, stock price, uh, stock price depends upon you can say uh, market news. So, um, uh, there are several other factors like business condition, inflation, exchange rate, so many things are there. So, these are the factors which can con co you know influence stock price. So, we like to know first of all uh, here the idea is uh, so uh, you, uh, you have to identify the particular problem from that particular theory. What is the main variable, instrumental variable? So, that will core as, uh, that will declare as a core variables and we call it a dependent variable. Then others are the you can see supporting variables. So, how the supporting variables are you can see influencing the core value that is one way of econometric modeling. But you I, I will clarify one thing you that uh, uh, when you will enter to the econometric modeling there are various types of uh, structures you will find. Basically, the entire structure are classified into four different uh, games. So, one is purely cross sectional modeling, then there is a time series modeling, then penal data modeling and structural equation modeling. So, uh, uh, you know structural equation modeling is a complete one part of the game and other you know time series modeling uh, means cross sectional modeling, parameter modeling other another part of the problem. So, uh, means what I like to say, so there are two different games altogether in the econometric system. So, one systems it is a one, one way classification and another is a multi way classification. One way classification I mean so, it is the every time there is one dependent variable with the one independent or multiple independent variables. Okay. So, this is one system in a, uh, where means uh, uh, it is uh, uh, this particular structure it is called as a one way casualty. Okay. So, basically this econometric modeling is the mostly on casualty issues. Okay. So, uh, means causality is very important in this particular uh, uh, framework of econometric modeling. So, now 
uh, in this particular first uh, uh, particular system first systems so we assume that there is always one dep dependent variables and uh, uh, one independent or several independent variables so we like to know how these independent variables are influencing you can say dependent variable that is the structure of causality okay so now in the second structures so we have series of dependent variables or we have a series of independent variables. i get to know what is this dependent independent variables means the, in a particular equation the uh, right uh, left side will call is a dependent and right side will call is a independent variables okay so now so here this is st structure is that so you have to see so how many are in the dependent and how many are in the independent uh, independent side so most of the cases you will find one dependent with the multiple independent so another case multiple multiple dependent and multiple independent so if that is this if that is the structure then we 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 have a different problem called as like simultaneous equation modeling and structural equation modeling in other cases so we have the system called as a one way causality so that is one dependent variable with multiple independent variables okay so this is how the system all about okay so now means these are all basic examples so what all together so we have we have three different uh, setup all together dependent setup independent setup and to justify that once we have a error setup in fact we have a different games for error component we have a different game over dependent and independent so we get to know details when we will enter to this pure econometric modeling so in the in the beginning we should be very careful that so we we are in the uh, core objective that is our dependent structure so this is main okay so then others are you can say just sub, uh, supporting factors okay so these are all uh, instrumentals through which how the objective can be achieved okay so this is the core fundamental knowledge of econometrics okay so i have just highlighted here uh, uh, you know consumption models similarly capital asset pricing models so how uh, how this you know risk free rate and you know market premium will influence this uh, 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 asset value so that is can be discussed in details so we will discuss details when we will go to the analysis first okay so now econometrics altogether just like you know uh, in the system of business or productions so we have input and we have output so we have to process inputs we will get the outputs so econometrics is just like a technical process okay so it is a technical or mechanical process so we need we need to insert inputs then we will come out with the output to take because you know uh, there are two ways we have to handle this type of structures as usual you know uh, recently we have a uh, multi numbers of softwares statistical software through which we have to solve this problem but you know uh, we can go for manually also manually there is a systematic structure how you have to process these inputs and how you will get out the outputs that means you should know what should be your output level so output classification is very important and at the same time input classification is very important so uh, the thing is that uh, means uh, output classification means that is your objective specification what what is your exact objective so means uh, uh, tentatively your objective is very much uh, very much uh, you can say known to you so now what what you have to do so you have to uh, you have to process the inputs whether the, your tentative objective is obtained or not obtained okay if it is not obtaining then what is the difficulty and uh, why it is not obtaining or whether there is, there is any way to redesign or restructure till you get your objective or you can say uh, whatever analysis you are getting uh, accordingly you have to change your uh, objective setup okay so this is how uh, econometrics will give you signals uh, means it is uh, just like it's, it's a, uh, it is a very strategic subject okay it's a very strategic subject it will give you means a very dynamic knowledge for various problems so how it means it will design redesign structure restructure still you get a, a best models so, uh, through which you can solve your uh, problems carefully okay perfectly okay that is how it's called uh, you know, econometrics so now you see here in the econometrics there are two groups of things one is called as a uh, output side another side is called as a input side so in the output sides we need estimation that's measurement inference hypothesis testings then forecasting predictions then evaluation assessment so these are things we have to do in this output study that means these are our objective core agenda here so, okay so we need to estimate 
measurement inference hypothesis testing that means whatever objective specification is there so we have to test it properly means as per the hypothesis uh, construction hypothesis that means the uh, structure is that uh, uh, first uh, first you have a theory that is what we really generate uh, means from the theory you have to identify a particular problem so now once you have a problem so you have to set a hypothesis that means the objective has to be constructed in the form of a hypothesis that means uh, this, uh, the way you are transferring objective to hypothesis that means it is the uh, give you theoretical uh, knowledge about the mathematical transformation into statistical transformation. Hypothesis testing means uh, this it is a statement which is not verified which is to be verified okay. So, that means in which is to be verified means it will be use of statistics only. So, yeah, a statistic will verify this ones okay. So, it will be uh, it will be uh, means uh, it, it is the econometrist job is to verify the fact whether it is okay or not okay. okay so, these are the outputs uh, means objective specification how we will uh, uh, how will uh, achieve this particular uh, items, but uh, we do not have any idea about the input specification. Okay. So, uh, input specification here so you see you must have a theoretical knowledge for when sound theory behind this modeling without having sound theory and uh, idea. So, it is uh, it is uh, totally unnecessary to enter to the econometric modeling okay, because without theory the econometric is totally meaningless totally meaningless. Okay. So, now uh, so theory is the most then mathematical knowledge you must have a sound mathematical knowledge you must have sound statistical knowledge then uh, you must have a information ok. So, theory problem will give you, but sometimes information will not give you. So, information you have to generate sometimes it may be readily available you bring that uh, information or it is not readily available you create a, 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 or a you have to uh, you have to means creation means uh, uh, either it is somewhere uh, possible to create or sometimes even artificial creation you can create like you know there is a technique called as a dummy variable modeling. So, we will get to know when you will enter to that particular problem. Okay. So, data or information is the most then computing powers. Okay. So, means it is not every time see your hand is okay or you can see your mind brain power is always okay. Suppose, when you are handling huge setup of data or huge number of variables and that too you can say take a case of problem say structural equation modeling. It is very difficult to uh, handle any hand. Okay. Particularly, uh, if your problem is very big and very means too much multivariate in nature, then that time uh, it is very difficult to solve in a classroom. So, yes, you can solve this problem in the classroom provided I will give you support that is what it is called as a software. Okay. So, uh, we will call it as a computing power. Computing power means we have a statistical software through which we have to just operate it properly the programs are designed in such a way. So, it will give you means you give just input command you process the inputs then automatically output will comes. Okay. So, that is how its computing power is all about. So, and then once you get the co computation means computation is over then you have a uh, model result. So, then you have to interpret then you have to check with the, you can say your existing theory. So, interpretation then knowledge must be required how you have to interpret and how you have to integrate with the proper theory. Okay. Uh, you see here, econometric process is the altogether two two men's uh, it's two men's job. So one is called as a deterministic models, another is called as a statistical model. I have already mentioned. So uh, econometric starting with you know uh, question of mathematical form you know theory, then the theory will be transferred into mathematical form of the model. Then mathematical form of the model will be transferred into statistical form of the models. Okay, so that is how econometric modeling. Because I I have uh, means very beginning I have mentioned econometric modeling is nothing but the integration of econometrics and modeling. So modeling will be, uh, give you the signal of physical transformation to mathematical transformation, and econometrics will see whether this transformation is perfectly okay or not okay. So it it will give you a ch commands type of job. So you have to check yourself whether you are in the right track. Okay. So, the way we will uh, uh, move in the process. So, I have just represented here in the technically. So, now uh, what is uh, what is the core foundation here? See, because you see uh, I mentioned here uh, economics, finance and math, mathematics and statistics. Okay. But generally econometrics, mathematical statistics is the 
main core elements and economics finance they will give you the theoretical funda only ok. So, theoret theoretical funda or you can say mathematical formulation of the models, but uh, means mathematical formulation of models you will uh, you, will, uh, 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 you will design through the mathematical knowledge only, but economics and finance will give you perfect fundamental theory. So, through the theory you have to apply your mathematical knowledge and transfer this uh, theory into mathematical form of the model then ultimately you have to apply the statistics to investigate the problem. So, that the theory can be tested or you can say retested, re redesigned uh, as per the need of the uh, uh, stakeholders ok. So, basically uh, so theory uh, uh, from the theory you have the deterministic models ok. Then that is you know mathematical theory then you you have this uh, apply the statistical theory then this deterministic model will be transferred into statistical form of the model. That means, you see here when there is a theory here. So, then uh, we have to apply mathematics to transfer this theory into deterministic model that we will call it a mathematical form of model. Then you have to apply the statistic then the, the, this deterministic models will transfer into statistical form of the models ok. That means, it is a statistical application is applied to the mathematical. So, the mathematical form of the model will transfer into statistical form of the model. Then once you will transfer the statistical form of the model. So, then you need to verify ok. So, as I have already mentioned. So, when uh, when we will put, put into statistical form of the model. So, this is what the uh, 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 you know transformation here this is mathematical form of the model and this is statistical form of the model. So, I will write it here once again. So, e c equal to a plus b y simply. So, I will write it here c plus c equal to a plus b y plus u ok u is just as a error component ok error component. So, because uh, what is mean by verification verification means something is not 100 uh, percently correct ok. So, we need to check whether it is 100 percent correct or not correct. So, now error uh, let us assume that the, this is not 100 percent correct that is why we are starting with the error component. We are saying that 100 percent cor not correct. So, that means some percentage is lacking. So, that some percentage is lacking is something nothing but uh, u here ok. So, now we have to see what is the u value ultimately if the u value is minimum or 0 then no. This, this is a fact this model is perfectly ok. So, that is our will. So, if u is, is something positive then obviously, this model uh, is not perfectly ok. So, that is what uh, the econometrics will teach you ok. So, now this is statistical form of the model then statistical form of the model transfer into data means uh, we have to process the data with the computing power then finally, we will get the estimated model. So, once you will get the estimated model then obviously, uh, this estimated model has to be checked or you can say investigated properly uh, uh, through some starts, uh, tests ok statistical tests. So, we get to know details when we will go to the particular process. Generally, this these tests are uh, you can say uh, uh, three, three in nature uh, one is called as a goodness fit test, specification test and out of sample prediction test that is called as a DG test ok. So, now we we like to first have the estimated model then that part is called as a reliability checking. So, for the reliability checking concern then these three a test has to be taken care of ok. So, through the again econometrics then finally, you have to find out the inference ok. So, whether this model is a perfectly reliable one or you can your uh, uh, fit of the data is a structured one or not structured. If it is reliable then it will be structured, if it is not reliable then it means reliable test will not give you signal green signal then it is unstructured data. So, you have to again redesign reprocess till you get the structured fit ok. So, the structured fit means it is correctly specified and that can be used for you can say prediction and forecasting. So, with the with the help of you know once you get the a proper reliable model or best fitted models then obviously, that has to be tested. Uh, the hypothesis and finally, uh, you have to give a conclusion. So, how you have gone through all together. So, okay. so similarly, econometric technology. So, there is a need of information. Information is most because it is three parts theory, then techniques, then information that is what is called as a data. So, that means, econometrics all together it is the cluster of theory, information and techniques, theory, information and techniques, theory, data and techniques or tools ok. So, these three components are very very important that means, 
it is three fundamental issue is very important the theory okay then informations informations then then theory information then techniques okay techniques okay so then you have to apply the your uh, your mind power okay your skill okay how you have to apply or process this theory information to consistent the theory and how technique you have to apply to justify the theory okay then collection summation estimation and interpretation what is means what is all about the econometrics okay econometrics it is the set of information collection summation estimation and interpretation so this is somewhat we can call as the statistics but here only econometrics the extra part is the you can say theory okay theory is the most okay it's that's why it is not purely statistics okay so it is the majority part is the 90 percent activities is statistic but 10 percent must be consistent with the theory so that theory is very important uh, means 10 percent theory is very important so far as econometrics is concerned okay so uh, as i have mentioned here so, uh, very means just like i have already mentioned here so far as econometric modeling is concerned so we assume that this model is not deterministic it is you know uh, it, it, it is in the form of some error involvement so there are three specific components here so uh, first thing you know when we put here uh, you can say uh, c equal to a plus b y b y plus e okay b y plus e so now uh, we start with the c is we start with the c equal to a plus b y and ultimately we transfer with a uh, transport to a plus b y plus u so now the obviously the question is why u okay why u why error term is always there there are many reasons sir uh, you know that is how i have mentioned here why errors first things there are lots of omitted variables so for instance c equal to o function c is a function of y here so that means consumption is a function of income but do you think that consumption is always the uh, only variable which can influence by income so it is uh, obviously the answer is not okay so there are certain other variables which can influence the consumption current consumption say i instead of putting c like this way i can put here c t equal to a plus b y t current consumption level depends upon current income in fact current consumption may be depend upon past income okay so that is your current consumption may be depends upon your needs okay so that is how a, a, a some of the factor which cannot be so uh, uh, you it's not possible to uh, you know capture sometimes it is possible but you are not interested for because of some reasons anyways whatever may be the case so these are the reasons why error terms are always there so, okay so that means uh, if i will specifically highlight then obviously uh, why errors means it's uh, omitted variables cases because we are omitting few variables which uh, may be relevant may not be relevant means omission of variables means some of the variables relevant variables we are not including for different regions and some of the uh, sometimes you know uh, uh, you know unnecessary variable you are also including initially you may not have idea but when will you go for uh, modeling process you get to know whether it is perfectly lucky or not okay so then second is the measurement error in the independent variables okay uh, so because the some of the independent variables may not be correctly specified so if it is not correctly specified then obviously the model may not be correctly specified so if model uh, for that we assume that there is some error component means whatever problems we, we cannot uh, you know capture so that will take care by error terms okay so same similarly uh, last but not the least cause is the uh, randomness of human behavior for instance we like to know the relationship between c and y so we have c information and we have a y information so we like to correlate c and y by any chance suppose i am just entering data okay so instead of 30 i will put 300 instead of you know 40 i will put 42 so like that way there may be human error so in that mistakes if it is a severe mistake then obviously the model will give you rough results so that is how it's a, it is a continuous process redesign 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 till you get a best fitter model if it is not coming perfectly okay then obviously you have to go continuously back 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 till you get a, a, you know fault where is exactly your problem so by the way you have to explore and accordingly you have to sort out its solution okay yes there are uh, live examples here uh, basically uh, 
uh, the game is between deterministic model with econometric model. So, deterministic model is purely it is a straightforward concept, econometric modeling is a complex process. Okay. We are assuming that something not straightforward like you know, uh, means it is game between a, we mathematically we can call it linear versus non-linear. Linear means it is a very straightforward, non-linear means it is not straightforward, in between there is lots of hidden factors in nature. So, econometrics one of the co, 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 uh, core agenda of what I have mentioned that uh, to fit a data in a proper structure and second um, core agenda is to, uh, to explore the hidden information. So, what is the hidden information which can uh, you can say uh, which is very much obstacle to your uh, modeling scenario or which may not be perfectly uh, you can say not uh, scheduled. So, you have to be very careful how you have to investigate. So, now you see here live example the there is a price versus quantity, then production means output versus inputs, then wage equation, uh, wage uh, the productivity versus you know it is a, 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 a its determinants, then Phillips course which is the game between money wage rate and unemployment rate. So, it is inflation issue. So, Wagner's layer, then government expenditure, then national income, these are the things means these are all you can say, uh, these are all purely a theoretical uh, base. Okay. This is a theoretical model. So, we have a theoretical base. So, through the, the, this, the price quantity that means theory says that there is uh, some relationship between price and quantity. So, we will assume that quantity is a function of price. Okay. So, the may be linear, may be non-linear. So, we uh, for, means whether the relationship, there is a relationship, if there is a relationship, whether it is linear or non-linear, whether it is you can say in a, a deterministic trend, a deterministic trend or econometric trend. So, that we have to know once you have a information, with the basis of information, we have to check the setup. Accordingly, we have to, oh, we have to come, oh, means we have to fit the data, so that we can come to a better structure, a better feasibility. Okay. So, similarly in the production, every time so what you have to do, so you need information that is you can say econometric inputs and ultimately your ob according to your objective specification, we have to process, you have to col collect or you have to redesign, design till you get the uh, objective uh, means verification of your objective. So, once your ob objective is done, then obviously your process is done. So, with respect to particular objective, you have to process your inputs very carefully, so that you will have the objective done. Okay. Yes. So, I have a, I have a analyzed here properly, one thing here is that uh, you need three things in the econometric setup. One is consistent theory, information that is data and you know tools and techniques that is you have to derive from mathematics and statistics. Okay. So, theory, informations and you know techniques. So, theory, information and techniques, three things I have already highlighted here. So, theory, information and techniques, these three things are very, very important for econometric modeling. So, now, so far as information, I am just tracking one thing. So, we will get to know lots of things about the techniques. Obviously, theory is the most, then we information techniques will be ultimate game. Okay. So, these are the instrument we have to play with this theory. So, techniques we will not touch today anything about techniques, we will get to know details in the uh, coming classes. So, information basically in the quantity term, technical term is called as a data. So, data basically divided into three forms. Okay. So, the structure of data, uh, first thing uh, it may be experimental, it may be non-experimental, it may be quantitative, it may be qualitative. But you know, uh, if it is a qualitative structure, then you know the setup is completely different. So what uh, what I like to say, so in the beginning we like to handle so quantitative setup of data. Then we will see how qualitative setup of data will uh, 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 means how do we solve the uh, or handle the qualitative setup of data in the econometric modeling. So far as the quantitative data is concerned, so we have three way of collections so or we have three. Way we have uh, you know collecting the uh, means combining the information. So, then uh, one is called as a time series setting that means data or information available over the over the time frame. Okay. So, this is called as a time series modeling I means sorry time series data. So, then another is called as a cross sectional data. Cross sectional data is a, 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 a data or information collected over the 
sample units okay cross sectional units for instance you know population uh, 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 across the countries say usa uk india etc this is called as a cross sectional uh, data and uh, with respect to india what is the population of india over the period say 1981 1991 2001 is this is called as a means a, a stock uh, stock price uh, for uh, uh, various years say 2001, 2002, 2003 like this way. So, this is called as a time series uh, representation and finally, there is called as a panel data, uh, panel data. Panel data is the combination of combination of uh, time series data and cross sectional data. Okay. So, uh, the speciality of panel data is that it, it will increase, increase the uh, sample size okay. because uh, so, for the econometric modeling is concerned, uh, you have a theory, then you have to build a model, then you have to apply statistics to investigate whether the theory model is perfectly okay. For that, you need information, then you have to process. So, information is very important and that too huge and huge information you need. So, in that case, we call it is a sample size. Okay? So, sample size should be substantially very high in the case of you can say econometric modeling. In higher the sample size, higher is the higher is the model accuracy, okay. lower the sample size, lower is the model accuracy. So, you have a substantially a high sample size, so that you can justify your model fitness in more perfect way, more structured way. So, uh, panel data will give you green signal, how you have to increase the sample size. Sometimes, some of the problem if you appear in cross sectional way and that information is very limited in nature. Sometimes, some of the information is purely time series in nature and that too is very limited in nature. So, now, if we club these two, then obviously, we will increase the sample size and that will be very handy for the uh, econometrician to uh, verify a particular theory. Okay? So, then uh, these are all uh, uh, various variables. Uh, it can be available through cross sectional unit, it can be available through time series unit. Then uh, it may be first available time series and cross sectional panel data. You will artificially create the panel data setup. Okay, so sometimes data may be day wise, monthly wise, quarterly, annually, weekly. So many ways you have to, you can say, uh, uh, see uh, on the stru structure of data. So that means we get to know the details about the econometric modeling. So what is the definition? What is the what is its utility? Uh, uh, then uh, how uh, what are its applications then uh, uh, what is the core agenda what are the objectives what is the hist historical uh, issues behind econometric modeling then you know proper structure of econometric modeling then basic themes that to specifically the modern modeling rules and you know uh, the structure of data etc so with this basic introduction so we we i am very sure uh, you get to know a little bit about what is all about econometrics and how it is important or relevant in the uh, current uh, uh, current business environment. Okay, uh, so we it means what my suggestion is that it's a very useful useful subject, very interesting subject, very relevant subject, so that uh, it has a broad futures of academicians and policy makers. Without having econometrics, it's very difficult to handle so many big big problems and big big issues. So, uh, econometrics to learning econometrics is most and it is very essential and very useful. So, we just highlighted what are the basic e issues and how interesting uh, this particular subject and uh, what are the uh, entry point of econometrics modeling. So, what is the uh, uh, what are the requirements you need to have so that econometric modeling can be applied properly and to justify or to integrate the problem setup, etc. So, with this we can conclude this particular session here. So, thank you very much. Have a nice day.